Okay, we're up in the air. We are going to head east. Fly out towards somewhere. We're going to pull the trims all the way in. Try to be easy on fuel today. We're going to get kind of a long way. Weight looks good. Sun is to the rear. Wind is pretty much behind our back. It's uh, 727, about 200 feet. Still climbing. Got a question if any of you know the answer. What is the thrust of the standard 185 Moster? What is the thrust of a monster? Now, I've heard people say that the monster R has more thrust than the monster, but I haven't heard anything about a monster, what the thrust of it is. We're heading pretty far to the, the highway, and I think I see the highway, I think I see uh, an 18-wheeler clear out there, but there's something out there at the highway that we've been debating on, taking a look at, and uh, we may do that today. Go ahead and turn gaggle on while I'm up here. Should have started it when I took off. I used Vice Guy High, but go ahead crank up gaggle and see if it's doing anything any different than when I first put it on. I'll probably fly uh, around this altitude or a little bit higher here as we go out to the uh, highway and then on the way back probably do some low flying depending on how it looks. I'm going to skirt around this town. This is a uh, to Cumberstown. We'll skirt around it. About 4,600 RPMs. Yeah, bounce a little bit here. Got the trims all the way in, so it's a little lifty. So, just a little bit of bounce here and there. Been flying for about uh, 17 minutes. We're about uh, seven and a half miles away from the LC. 4,300 RPMs, just uh, sitting here running real smooth, 725 feet, 28, 29 miles an hour, 8 uh, miles from the LZ, flying for about 18 minutes, we've covered 8.3 miles, it's kind of interesting, it says that we're 8.1 from the LZ, but we've flown 8.3, so it must have done a circle somewhere. It gained a couple, couple ten. This uh, torque line that the uh, Universal has is pretty nice, uh, except you, you know, once you set the knot in it set the torque, you know, if it's a different day with a little bit crosswind coming from, you know, and you're pulling to the right or to the left or whatever, you can't change it while you're flying, so it's pretty useful, but I'm glad I have it, but uh, it does have its limits. Now, this is just a big valley, a long valley. 
this valley just keeps on going towards Ganada Hut. I think uh, I think some of the names out there, Denison maybe, but Ganada Hut is one of the areas. Then you follow it up to the left, it'll go up to Dover and New Philly. All right, so we're out here at the highway, 9.5 miles away. And the river just keeps going down that way, down the valley. And down to the right is an area we wanted to check out, but I don't know if we'll, how far it is actually, and if it's clear, if it's a lot of trees or what, but we'll see if David heads that way or what he does. We talked about maybe going out there, but... Oh, there it is. I see it. It's not that far down there. And if you could see it by now, you're guessing what I'm thinking. But that's all I'm going to do today is think about it, head back the other way. So, it's a thought. So far we've traveled about 21 miles. We're about 4.8 miles away from the LZ right now. I've been flying for about 47 minutes. It's about 8.12. We're about uh, almost a mile away from the LZ. I've been flying for a little over an hour, an hour and two minutes. Flew uh, 27 miles. Probably will land and take on another flight. The windsock is just hanging there. Anybody flying, no city hangers open. None of the hangar doors are open on this side, so nobody's out. It's kind of cool down here. 